डेल्टा जी इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच माइनस टी डेल्टा एस लुक नाउ वी हैव स्टैब्लिश्ड दैट इफ डेल्टा जी इज नेगेटिव देन द रिएक्शन वुड बी स्पॉन्टेनियस नाउ सपोज आई हैव एनी रिएक्शन सपोज फॉर दैट मैटर लेट मी हैव अ डिहाइड्रेशन रिएक्शन वी हैव इथेनॉल प्लस इथेनॉल एडेड इन एसिडिक मीडियम and you are providing heat you are getting ethene plus water suppose we are dealing with this reaction and i have to find out whether this reaction is spontaneous or not so what i would do is i'll calculate delta h for this reaction experimentally and there are methods to do it i'll calculate delta s for this reaction experimentally and there are methods to do it i'll know the temperature of the reaction and i'll calculate delta g and i'll find out if delta g is negative or not if delta g is negative then the reaction is spontaneous if delta g is not negative then the reaction is not spontaneous now let's see when delta g will be negative suppose delta h is negative delta h negative being meaning that the energy is being released from the system if delta s is positive and that means entropy is being increasing that means energy is being dispersed out now if this quantity is negative and if delta s is positive the whole expression is is got to be negative this negative and this whole term because t is always positive positive into positive positive and you have a minus sign here so this expression is positive but with whole with minus sign it's negative and negative negative will give you negative so delta g will always be negative in this case suppose so delta g is always negative now and suppose you have delta h as positive that means heat is required for the reaction to occur and delta s is negative that means energy is not being dispersed out energy is being concentrated now in this case when energy is being concentrated from the previous discussion that is not favorable and plus you have to give heat to the system to reaction to occur in the previous case energy was being diffused out plus system is releasing energy that means system is being stabilized the energy is being lowered of the system this is the most favorable case that can happen so delta g is always negative that means reaction of this time kind will always be spontaneous reaction of this kind in which heat is given in the system and the energy of the system is being increased and that means energy is in system is being unstable plus the energy is being concentrated but both factors are unfavorable that means delta g is never going to be negative it's always going to be positive and mathematically you can see this is positive and this negative delta s is negative and minus sign is there so this whole expression is going to be positive and positive plus positive is going to give you positive and previously we established that delta g has to be negative for reaction to be spontaneous so in this case reaction is never spontaneous delta g is always positive all right now suppose delta h is positive but delta s is positive as well now in this case when the temperature is low when the temperature is low then this expression will be smaller and delta h will be larger at very low temperature this will be very small so effect of this will be very less so mostly the value will be dictated by delta h and delta h is positive so if delta h is positive delta g will be positive delta g is positive at lower temperature so at lower temperature this kind of reaction is not going to be spontaneous but as the temperature is increased then this expression will start to dominate t delta s will become more and more stronger and this term is positive because delta s is positive now along with negative sign this becomes negative and delta h do not change with temperature so delta s is going to have same value same positive value so this whole thing is going to be negative at higher temperature so delta g value will be negative at higher temperature now this situation we have seen 
uh, I mean, I don't know whether you have still studied uh, dehydration reaction or not. But if you have, you will identify that this was the situation when in dehydration reaction. And if you haven't studied, I'll make you identify now. Don't worry. This is ethene and water. Now, ethene, in ethene, you have pi bond. And pi bond is not stable. In ethanol, you have all sigma bonds. Sigma bonds are broken and pi bonds are formed. That means stable bond is broken and unstable bond is formed. So energy have to be given in this reaction. That's why delta H is positive. Now entropy, entropy of the reaction is also, well, change in entropy is positive because from 1 you are getting 2. So initially the energy was concentrated in 1 and now the energy is distributed in 2. So there has been dispersal of energy. So delta S will always also be positive. Okay, so this is the kind of reaction. We know that dehydration takes place at higher temperature. From here we can compare that delta G is negative at high temperature. This reaction do not take place at room temperature. Rather the reverse reaction takes place. If you add, if you have alkene and water, water would be added in alkene in acidic medium to give you ethanol. So reverse reaction would take place at room temperature. But if I want this reaction to occur, this takes place at higher temperature. And the reason why it takes place at higher temperature comes from this Gibbs, the expression of this Gibbs free energy. Delta H is positive and delta S is also positive because from one molecule you are getting two. So this kind of, if it's this kind of situation, reaction will take place spontaneously at higher temperature. That's why you need to heat these kind of reactions. Okay. So the fourth possibility would be Delta H is negative and delta S is positive. Now if delta S is positive, then this expression at I mean at lower temperature, this expression would be this is not the fourth case because this is the same as the first case. This the fourth case will be this in which delta S will be negative. Now in the fourth case, this at lower temperature, this, the, this, the expression of T delta S will have a very low value. So the whole delta G expression will be dominated by delta H, which is negative. So at lower temperature, delta G has negative value. Negative at low temperature. And obviously it will be positive at high temperature. Because as the temperature will increase, this will become stronger with a negative sign and negative here, it will have a positive value and the whole expression will have a positive value. So these kind of reactions will be more favorable at low temperature and not at high temperature. This is one aspect of Gibbs free energy. Now let's solve some trivial easy problems and then we will look, have a greater insight and look more into what information is furnished by this expression of delta G. But before that, let's let's try and be more handy with this expression. Let's solve few easy, trivial data feeding kind of problems.